Hello everyone, it's Ryan. Thank you for watching this video. I've just entered my third year now of esports down in London. So that means I survived second year. Now a lot of you would have been year ones that are now second years. You may be not quite sure what to expect going into this second year. Um, so I thought I'd share with you just a few little tips about how I survived second year because the change in workload from first year as well as everything that comes with it, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a change. Um, so I figured the harm in trying to trying to help everyone out and uh give tips so yeah let's get in the video now obviously i had quite a turbulent second year there was a global pandemic sprinkled in there so most of well my entire second year was done uh through screens um obviously now we're back into face to face and such a relief um but my tips obviously i'm going to try and keep to a relevant level for what you guys are going to be experiencing um, so yeah, my first one would be, uh, scheduling. Um, now you'll get, depending on how your course layout is, you'll have multiple modules, which means multiple different assignments, be that group or individual. So having a, uh, a schedule, schedule, however you want to say it, um, for when your deadlines are, um, that could be your hard deadlines for actual, uh, submissions, which typically for your first semester is around January, December time. Um, or even sort of proposal deadlines because sometimes you have to submit proposals and they'll be seven or eight weeks into your semester as opposed to 12 or 13 weeks, right? So you've got a bit of an earlier deadline. Making sure you've just got a general outlook on when you need to have things done by is really helpful for staying on top of everything. It means you're not rushing around last minute, um, which can be incredibly tough and difficult, um, especially if you're doing courses that are heavy on referencing. Obviously, that adds in a lot of time into it. So you need to make sure that you pre-plan quite well or just have a basic idea of when things need to be done by because it reduces your stress levels a lot. And who does, who who, who wants stress, am I right? So yeah, my, my, my tip would be uh, to, to plan a lot. Um, second one would be, obviously you would have obviously tried your hardest in year one, I hope anyway. But um, year two, obviously the waiting for how your year two goes affects your overall grade substantially more than year one did for me i believe that my year two marks make up 30 ish percent um of what my final grade will be at the end of this year so making sure that you do well in your assignments is is of paramount importance now more so than last year um just because of how how much they can contribute to your your overall degree basically so yeah, make sure that you're you're trying your hardest. Obviously, the, the scheduling I talked about earlier, that will help with that to make sure that you get everything done on time. Um, if you're doing group projects, don't be that person that does no work. Help help your group out. Uh, it benefits yourself and it benefits people that you're on the course with, right? And you don't want to be burning bridges or anything like that. So so make sure that you're, you're doing as much as possible for your, for your assignments and make sure to utilize people like your personal tutors or your lecturers. Um, when it comes to your assignments because you might have been a bit you know you might have refrained from maybe asking for help in first year or you think you didn't need any help in first year um so definitely make sure to make use of as much resources as possible that are on offer which see includes talking to lecturers um take advantage of things like assignment um like mock-up assignments and sending off drafts for, for essays things like that make sure to take full advantage of that to get yourself some feedback final submissions come through um that will help a lot for your your grade basically um and we'll go with one more tip let's keep it let's keep it sharp and sweet and as informative as possible my last tip would be my last tip would be to to get involved obviously we've had a bit of a turbulent past year with all of these societies on offer you would have looked at in freshers week possibly or you know get involved with as much as you think you can handle on top of for your course workload basically um keep yourself busy uh we'll go with a general tip here keep yourself busy uh, make sure you're not just sat around doing nothing if you can be doing your reading lists or you know, extra things around your course doing society work or taking part in society sport works you know literature whatever um and and staying on top of your money as well you may have spent the last year at home or whatnot so now you're out in the big, big wide world again make sure to keep on top of your finances don't go stupid i did do a video uh, a little while back about 
uh, tips for, for finance and budgeting and whatnot. But yeah, try and keep on top of it. Uh, enjoy enjoy being out and about again, but obviously don't, don't put yourself in a pickle. Um, so yeah, I hope that your, your year two goes really well and, and you smash it out of the park and hopefully your year one was great. Um, so I'm going into my last year now, but I survived year two, so I'm hoping that I can pass, pass that knowledge on to you. And, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure give that a, a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, because um, we're going to have lots of different tips and whatnot coming out from all the comms ambassadors and some of our new comms ambassadors. Make sure to go and give their videos some love. And yeah, uh, you enjoyed watching. Thanks a lot, and uh, see you later.